Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see behind me, I've got the 2020 Mustang GT up on the lift. I just actually finished putting lowering springs on the car and stopped there because we're going to go ahead and get these calipers painted before I get the car dropped. So guys, make sure you come back for next week's video because next week's video we'll do a full reveal before and after with all of the exterior mods done on the car. got everything out that I think I'm going to need. I did read the Pour 15 caliper paint instructions. Uh, we'll do the one coat and it will take three to four hours before we will apply the second coat and then the third coat if necessary. I also picked up off of eBay these caliper um, decals. Uh, we will put those on there. Now it does come with larger and smaller ones and one extra for each. I, I was looking at the size on these and I'm probably uh, will not be using anything on the rear and we'll just use the small ones on the front rotors. I picked up these premium paint brushes for about three or four bucks at Walmart. We'll get this mixed up really good. I do have a red scuff pad. Um, I'm going to do that for my own benefit. I'm going to spray a little bit of degreaser on each caliper and I'm going to clean it with a red scuff pad. For one, that's going to actually give us a little bit of a scratch on the surface that will allow this paint to adhere a little bit better. I also have some tape and some cleaning rags. That way I can tape up anything that's going to be in an area that I may touch that I don't want to touch with the red paint. So guys, uh, I'm going to open this up, get it stirred up really well, and we'll go ahead and we'll get started and I'll set you guys up and we'll do one of the front rotors for the video demonstration. So I'm going to just spray a little bit of uh, degreaser on here and we'll give it a good scrub and uh, then we'll be ready to paint. All right, I'll go ahead and get taped up anything I don't want to get any uh, paint on. Time for coat one. Stuff's very thick. I'm going to put you on time lapse because, uh, this might take me a minute. The next day. Well, good morning guys uh, the uh, I was doing time lapse last night ran out of battery you guys get the gist of it I'll kind of take you over and show you what the one coat looked like of course this is the next morning by the time I finished painting all four calipers the three to four hour recommended wait time before you put the second coat on well that would have put me at about two o'clock that would have put me at about two o'clock in the morning so I'm out here first thing the next morning. We'll go ahead and get that second coat on there. We'll see how it finishes. I will say this before we go over there and look. Although Race Red has a lot of orange in it, I sure hope these brighten up a little bit more red 
when I'm putting this second coat on there because they sure do look awfully orange right now. I think that's just because it's the first coat and it's a little bit lighter because of the first coat. I'm pretty sure it's going to dark it up a little bit more red. And I knew going into it, guys, that the uh, Pour 15 caliper paint that's red is more of an orange red, which is perfectly fine for a race red Mustang because it's very similar to even your 93 Cobra color because it has a ton of orange in it. All right, so let's go take a look, and um, I'll show you guys over here. I've got the light set up on this front caliper. Now, I don't know how that's going to show up on camera, but it sure looks very orange to me. Now, get you a little closer. You can see it, I mean, it covered pretty dang well. I mean, it's got a very nice high-gloss finish to it. Uh, first coat was pretty well. I'm going to set you guys up here on a time-lapse and we will get ready to get started and I'll get this second coat on all of these. Well guys, I got them all finished up this morning, got them painted, they look good. Um, if I had to do it over again, I'm not 100% sure I would do this again. There's actually quite a bit of time to do it. And I'm gonna tell you, that stuff is very gummy. It's very um, gooey once you're painting it. It's very difficult to get it to be very smooth and even when you're painting it on the surface. It does look nice. And look guys, at the end of the day, it's behind wheels mostly. And any of the small imperfections that I notice probably will never be noticed. Now the last thing that I need to do is put my pony decals on the front and that will finish it off. And guys, you'll wanna make sure you wanna see next week's video We'll get the wheels put on, get the car, and do a full reveal with the wheels. You'll see the painted calipers, and we'll do the before and after with the spring lowering as well. So you definitely want to stick around for next week on that video. Well, guys, here is the finished caliper. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, I like it. It's still just a little bit more orange than the factory paint on a uh, on on um, race red. Now, if I didn't have this light on it, it almost looks the same. It did redden up quite a bit when uh, with the second coat. Go back here and kind of show you the rears. Now, if you were looking from here, I mean, it looks like the same color. Um, and, of course, they're going to be on the wheels. So, There's my rear calipers. Um, yeah, oops. A little paint right there. So I've already got my decal cut. It came with three big ones and three small ones. These small ones really won't fit on the rear calipers, and that's fine. Um, and actually, the large ones would, but they would have to go around the bend of the um, brake caliper. So I'll show you. The large ones would actually go over this here, and it looks to me like the small one will fit perfectly right there so I'm gonna set you guys up and we'll go ahead and throw this decal on there all right now we just gotta get this thing I'm gonna to try to get it use this as my centering point I'm gonna put the pony right there that looks pretty good right there Sticking just fine. These are some pretty nice little details. Wow, that really looks good. That looks fantastic. Uh, we'll put the cap back on here. So, guys, um, my final thoughts on doing the caliper paint. I don't know. Uh, if you look at it on one hand, if you were to have to take all of this off, you got a brake fluid mesh, you got to worry about bleeding everything again and doing all that versus being able to leave them on here and just paint them by hand. The finish is nice enough. It's not fantastic, but it's good and it'll do fine. Um, hopefully it lasts really well. Hopefully the prep that I've done in the beginning, which is a very important part to 
any kind of paint sticking to a surface is really going to help. And look, at the end of the day, I think it looks nice. Um, but if I think if I was going to do uh, go through the trouble of pulling these off, I'd just go ahead and put some Brembos on it and get some red Brembos that are already ready to go and put these on the car. So, um, other than that, guys, I mean, I think they look nice. Um, it's important to note that it does tell you 24 hours, so um, this car is going to be sitting here till tomorrow. And hopefully this week we'll get it out and do some filming and get that on uh, next week's video so you guys can see the full reveal with the wheels on here and the new stance with the springs. So I'll catch you guys on that one and I really appreciate you watching. Alright boys. Oh crap, I got it on my dang fingers. So I'm at so what I'm doing...